Leviticus is a scary book. Today's first reading comes from that scary book. It all sounds so familiar, physical distancing, avoiding the virus, staying away from crowds. All this rings very true for us for almost an entire year by now. The law that Leviticus reminds us of is basically this, stay away from me, I am a leper. Now that is the image conjured up by the first scary reading. That too is the image we all were immersed in since March of last year. Instead of shouting, stay away, we wear face masks. Instead of ringing a bell for all to hear, we put on a face shield. And yes, we hope for a vaccine that actually only partially solved the problem. From last year on, we literally all became pariahs. We withdrew or we were told to. We shut ourselves in or were forced to. We took shelter in solitude or were prevailed upon to keep to ourselves, far, far from the madding crowds. Our response today offers us a glimpse of the respite we pray for. You are my shelter, you guard me from distress, with joyful shouts of deliverance, you surround me. The leper in Mark's Gospel is literally us here and now, and our prayer takes on a tone of urgency and plaintiveness. If you wish, you can make me clean. Lord, please do wish me and make me clean. Lord, please do will it. Do for us once again what we in our little faith can only complain about. Do have pity on us, your people, and if it may not be asking for too much, stretch out your hand, touch us, and heal the world, just as you did ages and ages before, over and over again. But I do need to make some confessions and admissions. The problem is not the virus per se. I submit the virus is real, the virus is not just a bad dream, but the worst is not really the virus called COVID-19. And while we beg for deliverance from this virus, do make us realize for once and for all time that leprosy is what you need to heal us of, the leprosy of our godless lives, of our scarred and deformed spirits of hopelessness, despair, and faithless despondency brought about by too much reliance on ourselves. Do will us clean, Lord. Do cleanse us and heal us. Do deliver us not just from the virus, but from the pestilence of our irresponsible and godless lives. This we ask you through Christ our Lord. And this, my dear friends, is your Kalakbay at Katoto saying thank you and God bless you all.